Happy Sunday, YouTubers. It is I, the big, and did I say big, and I do mean big, D, coming to you live and in person with another exciting van update. That's right, folks, a van update. I came in off the road Friday because I was 15 minutes from my house. I had some things to take care of, and uh, I need to get them done. And one of them was file a tax extension because the state of Ohio screwed up my taxes. So, long story short, they screwed up my taxes. So I can't file until they fix it. So that being said, I had to be here to take care of filing those extensions and things and sign the paperwork. I was going to do it next weekend, but I was 15 minutes from the house. And it would be stupid for me to basically... Um, have to drive back next weekend to do it when I'm 15 minutes from the house. So I came home, went to sleep, got up that afternoon, took care of it, and uh, I got to mail the forms in today, which I'm going to do. It's just one of those things you deal with out here on the road. You got things you got to take care of. But uh, as you can see, I've put some puck lighting in. There, there. Oops, this one's coming off. Oops. There we go. Oops. I don't know. I'll screw around with the lighter. I gotta put batteries in it anyway. I'll just throw it up there for now. But living on the van, living on the road is important. And you know, most of the van in the back here has just been cleaned up. I always like to have everything ready to go. When the first thing Monday morning, I'll be in service at eight o'clock. But I want everything ready to roll. As you can see, she's ready to go. Now, the only thing that's not ready to roll yet, well, it is, but there you go. The back of the van, the curtains are just shoved up over there. Shut the doors. I got to throw some trash that I threw out on the ground here. These dried up. Throw that away. A piece of wire. Ugh. Just getting a little tidying up here at my house. There's the side of the house. That my house went up to 280 grand. Woo! I wish my camper would appreciate it like that. But you can't have everything. Uh, <laughs> be nice though, wouldn't it? We talk about the camper. There she is. All the states I've traveled in. Woo! Got a few more of these here. Gonna get taken care of here. In uh, about a month, we've got to see the daughter have her baby. So that being said, that's getting getting done. But as you can see, here's its van, and I've done a new addition. And it's gonna make life a lot easier out here because A, cleaned up the front somewhat. I've got the curtains pulled back, but pictures of my beautiful wife, who tolerates the light, but you'll notice that's a refrigerator. <laughs> there you go, fridge. And the microwave. And that's wired to AC to the back to the inverter. It's plugged in the inverter. I have a battery switch behind me to flip on the batteries to charge. There's two AGM batteries back there. I put that on there too. And, uh, oops, tubing fell down. <laughs> I'll put that up here. But uh, you can see, now I can cook food as I'm driving. You just throw it in there and let it microwave. Pull into a rest stop. Two, three minutes, food's ready. It's quicker than going through a drive-thru. Now, you may be wondering why the light blue refrigerator. Amazon, $69. I had like $39 in credits. So, $30. <laughs> it's like, for $30, bucks, it is in here. I don't care about the color. All I did was take the seats out, the seat out. It's four torques. And you unplug the sensor from the bottom. Now, in doing so, what you're going to end up with... And I'll show it to you. So when you do this, everybody has to deal with this. Oh, drop the keys, but I'm going to show it to you. When you pull the seat out to put that in, that's just a platform I made to set there. And it's just bungee corded or ratchet strapped over the top. That's all it is, is a ratchet strap. It's not going anywhere, folks. Look at that. That's solid. But let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me get the door set here. Uh, Okay, let's get the key. There we go. Start her up. 
Oh, flashing seatbelt. Oh, the airbag light went out. And there it's back on. And as soon as I block the seatbelt, it'll, it'll go off. But that airbag light will stay on because the sensor is in the seat that's out of it. So when you get in and that stop, that pops on, don't let it sweat you. But, you know, right now I can flip the switch in the back and charge my batteries. This is gonna make my life here out of here on the road 10 times easier because A, I don't have to screw about the ice. The ice cooler is right there full of food now. That's my food chest. And I've hooked a hook there. I've got my gloves on the strap there, my uh, vest there, my hard hat there. So everything's right there on the floor. And uh, it's not a little, it's not under the seat, it's in that cooler right there. That's where the food's kept now. So I store the dry foods and stuff in there. And uh, I'm going to fill this up with lunch meat and stuff like that. So when you're on a load, you can stop and make something quickly. And keep moving. When you're gassing up, you can be making a sandwich. Get out, take off, eat your sandwich. This all can be done while you're moving. And time is of the essence. Because, to be honest, you're going to have to remember one thing. Yeah, you can drive, you know, 65 miles, or 70, 75, 80 miles an hour, and your gas mileage just goes straight into the toilet. Right now, with the price of gas, you'd have to be an idiot to do that. But, you know, there are some idiots out there who will do it. Uh, secondly, it's just going to tear your van up. So, my thing is, is don't do that. Now, this is this mount here is just for the phone, in case you're wondering what that's for. Oh, no. See? Bing. That's my trucking Garmin down underneath there and uh, everything. But you have to figure out ways to save money out here, especially now. And saving on gas, my drive between 60 and 65. So extra time comes in handy for me to sleep, just so you know. I like to get my nap. Now, the microwave is only a 700 watt, and people are like, well, how can you run all this stuff off of that little inverter? Well, the refrigerator does not stay on the whole time. Just like when your house does not it. it'll reach temperature and calculate the compressor cuts off. It's just that simple. The microwave is only used when you're cooking. It just sits there with the light on, but other than that, it pulls no power. So with the two batteries back there, the inverter, I'm in good shape. So that's why the inverter was put in. So when I got the chance to get this in, which you can see, and I can see out perfectly. You can see the mirror right there. I'm sitting in my chair. I can see right out the mirror, no problem. Now this mirror, this here is a little blocked, but then again, if a person was sitting there, you would have the same problem. That's the only mirror you need to worry about. And I can look forward and see out the side there. So I'm in good shape. I got good vision. And you'll see a lot of drivers out here do this because A, food's costly. Go get a Big Mac. Oh, yeah, woo. May need to take a mortgage out to get yourself a Big Mac these days, folks. But you basically have to save money. Now, people are still requiring masks. I have mine there, silly enough as it may be. But down here, I keep my laundry detergent stuff under there peanut butter is out front but over here I have a big spotlight I don't know if you can see it or not there's a big spotlight down there because at night finding a dress can be difficult with a handheld spotlight makes life so much easier I got it at Harbor Freight for 12 bucks down in Houston but as you can see the van is pretty much cleaned and ready to go and uh, that's that's just the way it is but I put in a microwave now people are like what's a cardboard under there keeps it from rattling it's a little twisted but you know what it doesn't matter as long as the feet are on it. I don't care. I don't need it going there, ding, 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 down the road. So I just stuck that under there. Neat little trick takes care of it. So, you know, a little piece of plywood, two two by fours, cut the length, set it on top of there, and just ratchet strap over the top, and you're good to go. Because it's not, as you can see, I'm, I'm I'm yanking on it really good, and it's not moving. It's ready to go. And come Monday, at 8 a.m., I'll be ready to go. So this is Big D saying living on the road can be nicer if you do a few things like this. You all have a good time. Forget, Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do all those goodies. This is Big D saying let's go make some monies.